Hey, what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in Crusader Kings 3 tutorial. So first of all, I'm trying to make it really quick video, but you can also quickly navigate through the whole video using my first comment underneath the YouTube video. It has the timestamp, so you can quickly navigate and find the topic that is very important for you. So thanks to that, you will not waste any time and you can get straight into the subject that you are looking for. All right, so when you can start your game, this happened to me because I started the game and I did not know where is my territory. So you can press home key on your keyboard to quickly zoom to your home. And as you can see, it has the blue outline. So this is show us what territory do we have. And also you can click right in here to go to your capital and also on the right top of your screen we have domain holdings right in here so we can quickly navigate clicking with the left mouse click through the whole territories that we have. So as you can see we got three chiefdoms right in here and as you can see the map is changing from the information about the territories to the information details information so in here we have the small tribe that will be future city if you're gonna click left mouse click you will get the all information in here so what is your control what is the development popular opinion which is very important because if you have a low opinion they will try to riot and you have to fight with some enemies what's your fate in here we got tax information and loot this is for the riders so if rider we got here and he will gonna write this territory he gonna have three coins loot and also how much uh, how much troops we have in here so right in here zero but in Stenshitsa we have here 315 soldiers then we have the fort level as you can see we can expand the fort if we have money and this also will cost us some prestige and also here we got the buttons where we can actually expand our city with new buildings to construct Okay, we're gonna go about this later on also, but as you can see, I want to mention about the different map types because on the right corner, right in here, we have the main map type, which you're gonna use because it will give you the most information during the game, but also we have something like this. So we have the duchy titles, as you can see, and how this works? Well, we have the small chiefdom and the chiefdom is, a part, is being a part of something bigger, which is duchy. So, all the chiefdoms are part of the duchies. So, as you can see, here we have the duchy of Mazovia. And also, then, we have the kingdom. So, my territory is a part of the kingdom of the Poland. And then, we have the empire. So, my territory, my territory is also part of the Wendish empire. So, this means that it's showing you, actually, the direction that you should have, go to get and conquer specific territories to get bigger titles if you're gonna click in here we got Duchy of Mazovia as you can see the part of Duchy Mazovia are my two territories and to create this title of, Mazo of Mazovia so Duchy of Mazovia I'll have to have three territories right now I have only two so one and two so I have to conquer one of these territories to be able to create new title which will then give me some more options for my player for example i will be able to create vassals and if you can see right in here we have the another information that from the duchy we're going through the kingdom so kingdom requires for us 19 territories to have to create this we have only three and then we have empire to create empire we need 88 tiles so territories to create right now we have only three and also it costs of course money and we need other two titles to create the whole empire so this is how it is and you can get back to the left right in here so as you can see show previous view and you can get straight into the beginning and if you want to again get the titles all you need to do is to click the icon of the title right in here Duchy of Mazovia then Kingdom and then Vendish Empire all right so let's go and change my our map view to the normal one and now let's talk about our character so our character is right in here gonna left mouse click left mouse click to get him we can also click right mouse click on our territory and it will show up the the person who is the holder of this territory so we can do on any territory right mouse click to show you how who is the leader of this territory and as in here you can see so thanks to this yellow line you'll know who is his leash 
So right in here, and as you can see, there are also small lines showing that there's also he had two vessels right in here. So one vessel is right in here, and second one right in here. And what more, they are sitting in this city right now, so they are located in here. So if you're gonna occupy this territory, you'll be able, and you make the siege, you'll be able to capture this person, because he's right now in this territory. Alright, so let's go back to our character once again. So left mouse clicking, and here we got information about our character. So we are the chieftain Mache, and in here we got information about our sexuality. So we are heterosexual. Then we have the traits, personality traits, which will give us extra bonuses for our main skills. As you can see, we got some Midas touched, which will give us stewardship plus eight. And as you can see, if I would just go and move, the small pop-up window will just fade away. To lock it, we need to wait a little bit to make it lock. And you can actually uh, change the time of the tooltip lock, locking in the option menu so if you're gonna go to the options menu to the settings and then to the game you have the lock delay and it's set normally to 1.5 seconds i recommend you to change it to one second so thanks to that you're gonna be much comfortable for you so we're gonna go back and we're gonna see that yeah we got this lock much quicker and thanks to that we can quickly navigate through the whole information. Alright, so let's go to the skills because we have here five different skills. So we got diplomacy, as you can see, we got three, which is terrible. Then we have martial arts, so which we have 12. Then we have stewardship, which is excellent, and the effect is right in here. It increased the taxes from our domains and also domain limit plus three. So thanks to that, I will be able to control right in here you get information about the domain holdings i'll be able to control five territories without getting any penalties for getting those territories in under my commands and then we have intrigue and we have 16 so good and then we have learning which is really poor right now five only and then we have prowess which is showing us how good we are in the battle so we are terrible so we should not fight in any battle at all what more we have the information what kind of Fate we have, so we are Slovansk, Slovyanska Pravda, and we are Polish, so our culture. Then we have the House of Mazur, and this is our dynasty, so we can actually change the house name right in here. So we can change the name from Pablo 1713. So from Pablo 1713, so right now, as you can see, if you're gonna zoom out, you'll be able to quickly see your territory much easier, so you can change to your name. And what more, we can change the na dynasty name. So we are right now Mazur dynasty. So we're going to change it to from Pablo dynasty. So we are from Pablo dynasty. And thanks to that, if we're going to go to our tree, we got from Pablo dynasty. So yes, so this is our dynasty tree. <laughs> it's just the beginning. So we have our son Jacek right here. And we have our chieftain Mechi. You cannot change the name of the characters. You can only give the names for the kids. All right, so let's go back in here. So you can go once again clicking on your banner. So we are from Pablo 1713. So in here we have also information about our level of splendor. So how known is our dynasty. So right now we are at the beginning. So we are not very known. We are obscure actually and getting to next level will give us some better buffs for our members of our family family members so as you can see our children will be born with 200 prestige and then marrying into dynasty will give us additional 100 and right now we have only 100 and marrying into the dynasty will give us zero so getting better splendor we're gonna give us better starting position for our family members so how you actually generate those points those prestige points well you're gonna get them it is called renown we have 33 points of renown and you are getting them by having kids and those kids having kids and having positive marriages and it is only based on how big your how big your family is and how good marrying options you choose during the whole life and in here you will see we got open le legacies and in here we're gonna have some options that we'll be able to unlock so this is kind of research tree 
where you can have some buffs for your whole family. So for example, if we're gonna have in here, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna have monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 10%. Or for example, monthly prestige plus 10%. So you, as you can see, marriage acceptance plus 30. So when you're gonna get in here, it's gonna take some time to get some better renown. And thanks to that, you're gonna have some extra buffs for your whole family. All right, so this is your house. And as you can see, if you're gonna if we're gonna be on our map, it's showing right in here houses. So thanks to that, this is our banner. Unfortunately, we cannot customize it, but maybe in the future, who knows? So as you can see, thanks to that, you will see all the houses and all the banners that how they look right now. And you can left mouse click to see information about different houses and what position they have right now. So of course, on the left side, we should have some better positions, yeah. For sure better. Alright, so we are starting really low in here with our Pablo Dynasty. So we can go back into our character so we can right mouse click once again to get into our character. So right in here, what else we have in here? We have the dread option, so how fearful we are and how people are afraid of us. The biggest dread, the better position you have and less possibility for vassals to fight against you. Then we have the next option, so we got gold, of course, we got prestige, 600 prestige, and then we have piety, which is, of course, connected with your fate, and then we have information how much military we have. We have 315 levies right now, and we have 5 champions. Champions are knights, so characters that are actually living on our in our territory. So 315, why 315? So it's showing in here 320, so right in on the top right corner. So we have 5 champions and 315 levies. So 315 plus 5 is 320. And why we have 320? Well, if you're going to click on any of your city, you're going to see how many levies it's giving you. So right now this is giving me 0, this also 0, and this city 315. So it is based on your cities that you have, or tribes right now. So you can, of course upgrade those tribes to have better numbers for the levies as you can see plus 100 115 uh, 150 and so on and so on so thanks to that you'll be able to get more army so conquering more new provinces will also give you more army bigger army and what about the champions as i said they are living inside of your territory so they are located right in here in your court so as you will go here you got information that this guy so he is our champion. If I'm gonna go back, we'll see he's our champion, so we'll be able to fight in the fight. Then we have another champion in here. Then another one, Andrzej is also champion, Karol is also champion, Leszek, and so on and so on. You have also information about the champions in your military window right in here, but we're gonna talk about this later on with the military option. All right, so this is just basic. So what else we have in here? We got family information that we have kit, and actually, in here, we have information that if we're gonna die, we're gonna play as our next heir. So our next heir is Jacek, and he is right in here. He just have four years old, and yeah, he is dwarf, so not very good for us, unfortunately. And he's bossy. He got he's just the, at the beginning of his life, so he doesn't have much skill points right now. And to increase those skill points, we can actually educate our child. So this is something that you should do at the start of a game. So to interact with any of those characters, this is our wife, of course, we have to right mouse click and then we're gonna choose from the menu Educate Child. So you should do this and it's gonna be 100% to accept this. So yeah, we are now educating our child and we have the information in the relationships right in here. Uh, it's not showing right now, but it will show in the few seconds for sure. What else you should do? We should also interact with your wife. So we need to have more babies. So you should actually romance with your wife. So we're gonna right mouse click and we sway. Swaying is just getting better re relation, better relation with your wife. And we don't want to do that. We're gonna go to more. And here we got seduce and we have also romance. We're gonna use seduce and thanks to that, we're gonna have higher chance of having babies and more members of our family, which will be very important and very good for our future. So we're gonna use Seduce, and as you can see, it is showing right in here that it's gonna take 11 months, and we have 
success chance because here is the information why we have such a big success chance so we're gonna start and when you are starting it is showing right in here on the bottom right corner that it is going on and as you can see it's showing in the intrigue window it is right in here so f6 so right in here we have the scheme that is going on right in here so 11 months left we have 95 percent success chance and another very important information that you can only make only one personal scheme at a time so if i will make any other personal scheme so for example against this guy if I will go and make the sway, it will have information that starting a new personal scheme will abandon the current one that we are using. So we have only one scheme at a time. So we don't want to do this, we want to have first some babies, then we're going to try to have better relationships with other guys. And why do we want babies as well? First of all, we're going to be bigger family, but what more, thanks to that we will have better chances for to get alliance with your neighbors so for example if you're gonna check so right mouse clicking on any territory we'll see the main character that is leading and then his son or daughter that will be future her so right in here yes we have in here as you can see she got daughter magdalena and we can actually propose the marriage with him because we got the son and he got a girl so we're gonna go right mouse click and we can arrange marriage and we're gonna go and we're gonna try to find our our yeah here we have our son so Jacek and we want her so Magdalena so we're gonna try to go to the H and here we got the Magdalena she's a zero H so it is future and as you can see right in here he will not accept right now because it's just the beginning of the game but it will be able for you to get some allies yeah as you can see the result is that we'll have alliance with this character. So we can search for someone that will have some young kid that you will be able to connect with your own family members. So yeah, right in here, as you can see, it's updated. So right in here, we have information that we are educating our child and one character can educate two kids. So you can educate one more. And then if you go to your wife left mouse clicking you'll see that she can also educate two kids but she is right now not educating any of them okay so let's go on in here we have also information about the vassals but right now we don't have the vassals so we're gonna close the window and underneath our character we have the information about our lifestyle so we're gonna choose the lifestyle and there are five options that you can choose if you're gonna choose you're gonna click you're gonna have five different options to go you can choose whatever you want I will go with the stewardship because thanks to that I'll be able to increase my domain limit so the territories that I'll be able to control as you can see getting in here I'll have plus two what more my character has already two trades perk already unlocked so this will be much easier for me to get and before you're gonna choose anything in here you need to choose one of those lifestyle focuses which will give you permanent boost for your character so I'll use this one so left mouse click and this will give me plus three to my stewardship and experience plus 35 here we have more income and here we're gonna have plus one and enemy agent acceptance and then opinion of other guests plus 20 so i'm gonna use this as this will give me plus three stewardship and later on when i'll be able to unlock this i will be able to have better fold lever more garrison and also better levy reinforcements made so it is very interesting in here and at the end you will have able to get additional trait which is architect architect which will give me additional plus two stewardship to my character you can also reset points but making this will give you some stress and stress will be really negative impact on your character so i'm not going to do this because the stress is located right in here on the left side so as you can see stress level is zero from 300 so 300 will give us to the maximum and next so there are three levels and when your character is stressed he can actually kill himself because he can get depression and a lot of bad things gonna happen in your kingdom all right what else we have in here we have home of pablo so again thanks to that we'll quickly go in here so this menu we can get in here also in here so there are two options then we have sloganska pravda so information about our religion but to change anything in religion 
gonna cost us, as you can see, reforming will cost us a lot of points which are located right in here. We have only 100, so you will not touch this at the beginning of your game because you will not have enough points to do anything with this. So we're not gonna talk about this right now. We're gonna do this about, uh, we're gonna talk about this in the future because right now there is no point because you will not have, you will not use it at all at the start of the game. And then in here, here is very impor important thing because here is the research tree for your whole nation. So whole actually culture. As you can see, we are in the culture window right in here. So we are in culture. Here we have the houses, so culture. And we are part of the Polish culture. And the thing is that the person who have the biggest amount of the territories will be able to choose the focus of the research tree. So he is choosing Casus Belli. And thanks to that, in 73 years, we'll be able to have this. And there are some really interesting options like Ledger, which will give us domain name plus one which I will try to make and focus for sure. And right now I have only three territories and he have seven. So I will have to conquer four more to be able to decide what I want to research for my whole culture. So this is the thing that you need to aim to conquer the specific amount of territories to be able to control what you want to research. As you can see, here are some even some military innovations that will help us sieging enemy cities. Alright, so that's it for today. We're gonna continue in the part number two, where we're gonna talk about all the top right icons on your screen, about the cache, about your army, and about really important stuff about your kingdom, which will decide how good your kingdom gonna function. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope that you have some better understanding about this game right now and you feel much more comfortable in this beautiful Crusader Kings game. But we're gonna continue, as I said, in the second part. So that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.